what's going on everybody and welcome to this tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to manually back up your WordPress blog fully with all the plugins and themes and your content as well now there are a lot of plugins in the market like WordPress um, backup pro and other plugins which help you to do that but this method since it's a manual method therefore it would work even when you are not able to access your WordPress dashboard so to do that what you need is a couple of things first of all a FTP manager like FileZilla and the second thing you need is the access of your cPanel so first of all open FileZilla and connect to your FTP currently my site is mypremiumtricks.com so I'll just connect to my site I'll just create a directory backup and right here go to public underscore HTML go to uh, WP content and just select all of this and drag and drop here I won't do that because I already have a backup I don't want to backup it again and create duplicate copies so just select all this and drag and drop it here now you have successfully backed up your plugins and themes and your images you have uploaded on your WordPress blog now what about your content now to back up your content you need to go into your cPanel because your content isn't stored in files it is stored inside the database so go to your cPanel minus mypremiumtricks.com slash cPanel and login into your cPanel with your provided details And once you are logged in to your cPanel, go down, go down to PHP My Admin. Click here, and it will just redirect you to PHP My Admin, whatever your version is here. It doesn't matter because there's not much of change. Okay, so now the next thing you need to do is to select your own WordPress version the database version and if you've got a lot of a lot of um, databases like I have got you need to filter out which ones is the active database because there's only one active database at your site at a given time so I'll just check so it doesn't look like my my database but I'll still check you see that there are only four to five posts but I have actually got like 60 to 70 posts on my blog for now so this D6 is not my database let's try with D5 and if I go to this posts so Okay, so let's see if that is mine. Yep, it looks like it is mine, but I would just like to confirm with okay. So I don't think this is my active one because I've got a couple of more databases running for different subdomains so try to find out something you have already linked with your database previously like you recognize any active post here okay so this is something completely different language so this is not mine at all and 
since this is the last one which is left let's see if this is the one and yes I guess this is the one because this kind of looks like my post okay so once you have got your database minus WR DP3 once you got your database go back to your PHP admin page now click on your database go to export and just select quick format should be anything XML PHP array or SQL but I'll just select SQL and I would recommend SQL and hit go now it will download a file for you which may be a light or heavy depending on how much content you have on your blog and save this in nice inside a secure place because using this you could back up your um, blog okay so now once this is downloaded let's suppose you don't have access to your blog at all and you have got a completely blank blog so now what you need to do is again go to your WP content folder and I am assuming now that your blog is white dub and you want to recover the backed up copy of your blog so go to your WP content folder delete everything you ha uh, have right here and replace that with the stuff we originally backed up so once you do that your this folder would look something like this and you have got your themes your images and your plugins backed up successfully now again go to your C panel right here click on this PHP my admin go to your this front page click on import and now make sure to select the same file which you have my SQL 3 WordPress whatever your name is and click on go and make sure you have selected the same format as well so once you do that your database would always be ready for you just like before it was when your site was working so that's how you manually back up your WordPress blog without any problems and if you do face any problem do let me know in the comment section so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you then next time goodbye and take care